One of the things that, that Rex did for a good many years uh, that I thought was, you know, it sounded wildly irresponsible, uh, but it was actually in effect the, one of the most uh, effective foundation models I've ever seen uh, was that everybody who was on the board would just go around and look for little machete and loincloth philanthropic efforts uh, on their own and come into a Rex meeting and it would, if, if somebody, in those days, if somebody applied for a grant, they'd automatically disqualified themselves. Uh, we were looking for people that, that really were so dedicated to doing whatever good thing it was that they were doing that they wouldn't even think to apply for a grant, and they wouldn't have time to. And they, uh, so suddenly we dropped five or $10,000 on these little, little outfits that were, you know, like there was a lady that was going around in a micro bus and picking up runaways on Sunset Strip and giving them a place to live and all, all these very small things where five or ten thousand dollars would make an enormous difference. And we did this very arbitrarily uh, on the strength of our own judgment and we didn't ask them to fill out a lot of paperwork showing what they'd done with it and for all I, you know, anybody knew they were pocketing the money but, you know, we came back later and found that just about all of these things had survived and, and that the Rex donation, which they hadn't expected at all, hadn't applied for, had been the thing that made it possible for them to really get some strength and, and become viable long-term organizations.